the person that we have requested to cut the ribbon on the brand new Park Rose Middle School dedication is someone that has been a faithful Park Rose community member all of his life. His family has been committed to this district, committed to this community. He went on the road with me when we met with many, many people asking the community to support this bond in very difficult economic times and he has been an unfailing supporter of the superintendent and the school board. And that is the wonderful community member who will cut this ribbon is Earl Decay. to also thank the many, many people that worked directly on building this building. Dole Olson Weeks, our architect, um, Todd Construction, who built the building, Harry International, who was the program manager of the, of the program throughout the entire district, including the middle school. Um, there's going to be people I just know I'm going to forget, all the administration, our Executive Director of Business and Facilities Operations, Mary Larson. Um, without Mary Larson, once again, I believe the building would not have gotten built. So we have had a bond oversight committee that has worked with us um, faithfully month to month, meeting to be members of the community, looking at our budget, looking at our line items, looking at the decisions that we made, and helping us to stay true to the community, true to your vision, and true to what you asked us to do. I think you see a building that's kind of like a tool for craftsmen. Students come, they sit in their desks. The environment that is created changes how they feel about school. And teachers can apply their craft in a way that helps those students see the future. We gather today to celebrate a community working together. A capital bond project is about a community that cares for their children and the children to come. Adult leaders carry out this project for the benefit of our community, but most of all for the benefit of our students. Today we celebrate this building, but Park Rose has changed every one of its elementary schools to improve safety and security for those students. But most of all, change the learning environment so that those kids can be the leaders to replace all of us. This new place, the middle school's new home, marks a new chapter for our community. Thanks to the tireless, grassroots efforts of this community, and I'm remembering long days of canvassing in the rain on Saturdays and Sundays, that reality is no longer. Despite the vote coming during our worst recession since the Great Depression, this community decided it needed to improve the quality of education for the area's young people. A lot of people rallied around that idea, and I'm so thankful for that. I was so proud to see the efforts of staff, students, parents, community members, a top-notch architecture firm, and a salt-of-the-earth construction company come together to create this state-of-the-art certified green learning center that addresses the needs of our students in a way that our old building was not capable of doing. When one of our students walked in on the first day of school this year, with his eyes wide, he said the building was flawless. <laughs> Later, a good friend told me that every student in America deserves to go to school here. Thanks to the Park Rose community and everyone who played a role in creating this new reality for us, we have set a new standard for what schools should look like. And most importantly, we have given our students the learning environment that they deserve. <coughs> People ask me, you know, how do you come up with these ideas? I remember once walking through 
uh, building that was under construction, an electrician asked me a few questions, and then he said, uh, you know, wh where'd you guys, how'd you guys think of this? And I thought he was being kind of sarcastic. I don't remember what I told him. But then I realized he was serious. And, and others have asked me too, where, you know, where does this come from? Well, I've learned two things as an architect. First of all, it's about the people, not the building. And then the second thing, the corollary to that is, as is so often true in other things in life, it's the journey as much as the destination. With a victory like this, you get something real and lasting. You get a school building where teachers can teach and children can learn. And that means that everybody who is part of that victory can savor that victory again just by coming and looking at this building. And I want to thank Ed Russell for giving a speech thanking as many people as he did because it's so important for everybody to be recognized and for everybody to enjoy this, not just today, but for as long as this building stands. So congratulations, congratulations to the wonderful Parkers community.